Hey all, welcome back. And I'm here to give you a pasta recipe that you can make so easily, so quickly that you don't really ever have to worry about having a boring dinner when you're back from work. This will be worthwhile and no more eating out. How about that? It all begins with a spicy and exciting marinara sauce. And I personally hadn't made this for a couple of months at this point, maybe even a year. I don't even know why, I just kept doing more indulgent stuff, but it was good to revisit it. And it's as simple as some olive oil, garlic, chili flakes, and some pulsed San Marzano type tomatoes. A quick simmer and then just let it gently bubble for 10 to 15 minutes. Now we're gonna pair it with a nice homemade um, sweet and spicy kind of sausage. And I'm gonna make it with ground chicken. It's gonna start with some freshly ground fennel and anise seed. And, and it really takes just a couple of seconds. And then to just put it all together, you need that mince, you need some finely chopped serrano. I couldn't find it, so I'm using Thai chilies, but serranos work much better. It's a little milder. Then add in those freshly ground spices, a bit of water, some honey, and then bomba or really chopped up Calabrian peppers. If you can find that, salt, chili flakes, and pepper. That's really it. And what I've showed you here is one portion, but I doubled it later on. And I realized that there were mistakes with my recipe card, so check that out down below because everything should be good now. Now I'm gonna start cooking that sausage while my pasta is cooking in the pot next to it. And essentially, when that sausage is cooked and you've broken down the sausage into smaller chunks, just put it in a bowl and set it aside. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna bake this in the oven. And there really is a lot of pros and not as many cons to baking the spaghetti because just the process of mixing the sauce, the pasta, the sausage together, and then layering it with cheese. I'm layering it with cubes of mozzarella that I've cut up, some provolone, and it's just gonna be like in every single layer. Um, on the top, in the middle, at the bottom, just very random. And then when it oozes out, when it bubbles up, you're gonna have a nice light crust on the top, I love it, especially when the pasta um, kind of gets a little, little crispy on the top as well. It's just such a fun experience. All the flavors just melt together. Everything is like nicely heated, so the flavors are just more intense. Um, and once you've baked it, really, until your preferred consistency, uh, you can broil it a little bit if you want, then you wanna just top it off with some basil which I've cut into ribbons over here, or chiffonade, and this really is a perfect kind of dinner or lunch. When I made this, this was enough for a dinner portion for two and a lunch portion for two, and we were satisfied every single time. So no more boring food. You want more videos like this? Check out links down below and Feel free to browse my website for more baked pasta recipes. I'll see you in the next one.